Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will discuss about truth tables for conditional and biconditional. So uh, in the previous video lesson, we discussed natin yung truth tables about negation, conjunction, and disjunction. So sana napanood yung muna yon, bago nyo ito mapanood. Okay, so again, so na-discuss na natin yung conjunction, disjunction, and negation. So, focus natin sa video lesson nito is uh, tungkol naman sa conditional and biconditional. So, ito yung mga symbol na ginagamit natin. And then, ito naman yung mga connective na ginagamit natin. So, for conditional, if and then. And for biconditional, if and only if. Okay. So, ito yung... Uh, magiging guide natin, so, ito yung truth table for conditional statement And for by conditional, ito naman yung truth table So ito yung magsiserve as guide natin para magawa natin yung truth tables mamaya So depende sa given So as you can see class, uh, saan lang sila nagbago? Sa both dito, sa first row, second row, and last row ay parehas sila no? Parehas sila ng truth value Except lang sa third row. Sa conditional, sa third row, oh, kapag false true, the answer is true. Dito naman sa by conditional, kapag false true, the answer is false. For example, construct a truth table for P. Okay, tapos yung itong symbol na to for conditional and not Q. So, since dalawa yung proposition natin, so, apat na rows yung meron tayo. Okay. So, therefore, anong uunahin natin dito? That is, yung not Q. Unahin natin yung negation ng Q. So, negation ng Q. So, kabaliktaran lang naman yan. So, that is, kung true yan, magiging false. Kung false to, magiging true. And then, kapag true to, magiging false. And kapag false to, ay magiging true. So, ito ay for conditional. So, gamit yung table ng for conditional. So, yung true table ng conditional, so masasagot natin ito. So, saan tayo titingin ngayon? Doon sa P natin, sa first column, and then yung sa third column natin. So, kapag true, false, sabi dito, kapag true, false, the answer is false. Kapag true, true, the answer is true, true, the answer is true. And then kapag false, false, so ito, false, false, the answer is still true. And then kapag false, true, the answer is true. True. So, ibig sabihin, uh, lahat sila ay, uh, no, except lang dun sa first column natin, that is false. Okay, so ito na, yung pinakas, ito na yung summary ng true table ng given natin. For example, number one. Next, we have not P, tapos yung conditional ng Q. Okay, so tingnan natin. So, again, meron na tayo ditong, uh, may gina... May table tayo dito. So, hindi ko na pinakita isa-isa. So, kagaya lang dito ng example ng number 1. So, dapat ang unang gagawin nyo is yung kunin yung negation ng P. So, tingin tayo dito. So, sa negation ng P dito, so that is true. Okay? False. True, false. False, true. Then, false, true. And then, ito na. So, yung negation ng P natin and then yung Q. Okay, uh, linawin ko lang na kapag kukunin nyo na yung truth value dito, dapat una kayong titingin dito sa column na to bago sa Q. Okay, ulitin ko. Hindi yung galing sa Q papunta sa column na to. So, dapat dito kayo una titingin. Okay, so halimbawa dito, false, true. So, ano yung value, uh, truth value nun? That is true. Okay, so in false, false, that is true. Hindi, pe, hindi yung true false, okay? Dapat dito kayo titingin. Una sa uh, not P, sa column ng uh, third column nyo, bago dun sa second column. So, this will be the answer. So, tingnan natin. Pag false, true. So, the answer is true. Both false. So pag both false, that answer is true. Then, true, true. So, the answer is true. Then, true, false, the answer is false. So, that will be the answer for uh, example number 2. Next, construct a truth table for P. So, ito ay meron tayong ditong uh, disjunction na kasama at negation. So, anong una natin mahukuha dyan? Ano yung una natin kukunin? 
Yes, tama po kayo. Dapat kunin muna natin yung negation ng P. Okay? Yun muna unahin natin yung negation ng P. So, ano yung negation ng P? Kung true yan, false, false, true, true. So, dito kayo titingin. Okay? Ito yung titingnan nyo. Next is, kunin natin yung uh, Q, tapos ito yung nasa loob na ng parenthesis. Okay? Kunin na natin yung value. So, tingin tayo sa Q dito sa column na to at sa column na to. Okay? Since conditional yan, ito yung true table ng conditional. So, kapag true false, ano ang sagot? False. Kapag both false, the answer is true. Both true, that is true. False true, the answer is true. Okay. And then, so, since may value na tayo nito, okay, may value na tayo nito, pwede natin natin kunin lahat. Pwede na natin kunin yung truth value nito. So, tingin tayo sa P. And then, gamitin natin yung truth table ng disjunction. So, ito, disjunction. So, ito yung uh, truth table niya. So, tingin tayo dito sa P natin. And then, yung sagot natin dito. Okay. So, first row, uh, column natin and then sa fourth column natin. So, tingnan natin. True, false. Okay. So, ano yung true, false dito? So, the answer is true. Then, true, true. So, the answer is true. False, true. So, yung false, true natin ay true pa din. And then, false, true, same lang. So, that is true pa din. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ay true. So, that will be the our answer for example number 3. Next, for example number 4, we have the quantity of P tapos yung conditional Q. And ito, by conditional itong symbol na ito, no? not P tapos conditional ng Q. So, anong uunahin natin dyan? Okay, so since meron tayong dalawang ano lang, so uh, uh, ulitin ko lang na kapag dalawa ang proposition natin, ito lagi ang simula nyo. Okay? Ito lagi ang simula. So, unay natin yung not P. Okay? Unay natin yung not P. So, the answer is, so negation ng P. So, ito lang. So, that is false, false, true, true. And then, okay, ito. So, bago natin kunin ito, class, bago natin kunin itong to, unahin ko na muna itong sagutan. Unahin na muna natin kunin to Okay? So, that is, The answer is, so tingin tayo sa P natin and then sa Q. Okay? Gamit itong true table na to. So the answer is, true, false, true, true. Okay? So dito nyo titingnan. And then, so balikan natin yung nandito, yung nasa right side natin, yung sa nasa loob ng parenthesis. So not P tapos itong Q. Okay? So saan tayo titingin? Dito. Ito. Itong column na to at ito. Alright? So, ito again, itong column na to ito muna ang inyong unahin bago itong sa Q. Okay? So, that is false, true. So, ano yung false, true dyan? That is true. And then, false, false. The answer is true pa din. True, true. So, the answer is true. And then, true, false. The answer is false. Okay? So, Kompleto na, may value na tayo dito, tapos may value na tayo dyan. So, therefore, so tingnan natin itong fourth column natin, saka yung fifth column natin. So, the answer is, okay. So, since by conditional to, gamitin natin yung true table ng by conditional. So, kapag both true, the answer is true. And then, kapag false true, the answer is false. And then, kapag true true, the answer is true. And then kapag true, false, so the answer is false. Okay, so ganun lang kasimple. So kapag nalilito kayo class, uh, ilagay nyo to sa papel yung mga true tables ng conditional and by conditional nyo para hindi kayo mahirapan sumagot. Okay, next tayo. Okay, so anong unahin natin dito makukuha? Of course, yung negation ng Q, correct? So yun ay kung negation ng Q yan, itong dapat natin uh, tingnan. So, inigate natin to So, kung true yan, that is false. And then, ito ay true. Ito naman ay false. Ito ay true. Okay? So, after that, ito naman. Yung nasa left call, uh, yeah, itong nasa loob ng parenthesis, nasa loob. So, ito ay 
conjunction. So, kailangan nyo ng true table ng conjunction. So, ito muna. Okay? So, kung kapag kailangan nyo, para may titingnan kayo. So, kung ito na. Kung true, true, that is true, false, false, and false. Next. So, balik tayo dito sa uh, parenthesis natin na sa right side. Okay? So, anong titingnan natin? Yung P natin, and then yung not Q. Yung first column, and then yung last column nyo. Okay? So, conditional. So, tingin tayo sa true table ng conditional state natin. So, that is true, false. So, kapag true, false, the answer is false. Then, true, true, the answer is true. False, false, the answer is true. And then, false, true, the answer is true. So, makukuha na natin yung uh, true table ng given natin. So, tingin tayo dito at tingin tayo dito. Okay? So, anong gagamitin natin? So, conditional. So, yung conditional na true table. So, that is true, false. So, tingnan natin sa conditional. Ano yung true, false? The answer is false. And then, how about uh, false, true? The answer is what will be the answer? Uh, still false. And then, next, kapag false, true, so that is false, true, the answer is false pa din. So therefore, the answer is, uh, ito na yung sagot natin for example number 5. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.